Thanks, Alex. Here are today's top sports stories for the day. The Toronto Maple Leafs couldn't find a way to get past the Carolina Hurricanes last night. Backup goalie Garrett Sparks got the nod in goal after the Leafs played the night before in New York, where they beat the Islanders 2-1. The Hurricanes wired 37 shots at Sparks, and that proved to be all it would take as they defeated the Maple Leafs 4-1. It was a big two points for the Hurricanes as they keep scratching to stay in wildcard contention for the playoffs. But the Leafs, on the other hand, have already clinched their playoff spot and now have two games remaining before their cup quest begins next week. The Leafs already have the Boston Bruins in their sights as they will meet for the second straight time in the first round this year. The past history between these two teams in the playoffs have not been favorable towards Toronto. We all remember 2013 and last year, but the Leafs will have to put that behind them and start fresh. Their final two games will be against the league-leading Lightning tomorrow at Scotiabank Arena and then conclude the season in Montreal against the Habs on Saturday night, which will also be legendary broadcaster Bob Cole's last game. Shifting to the hardwood, the Toronto Raptors are in the Big Apple to take on the Brooklyn Nets tonight. The Raptors are on fire, winning seven of their last ten games, but Brooklyn, on the other hand, they've lost six of their past nine. This game is big for the Nets as they need to keep grabbing points to maintain their seventh seed in the Eastern Conference. The Raptors are 2-1 and one against the Nets for the season series, and with the way the standings are right now, if the playoffs started today, these two teams would meet in the first round. 2014 was the last time these two met in the playoffs, and Brooklyn took that series in the final seconds of Game 7. The Raptors are a way different team this time around and should have no problem against the Nets. Tip-off is set for 7.30 tonight. March is officially over, but the madness continues this Saturday as the Final Four is set in Minneapolis. One-seed Virginia will take on five-seed Auburn, and then two-seed Michigan State will take on three-seed Texas Tech. Stay tuned to Skedline.com tomorrow, where reporters Mike, Brandon, and Aaron bring you through all the details of the Final Four. The Toronto Blue Jays opening week continues today as they take on the Baltimore Orioles at 4.07 p.m. down at the Rogers Center. The Jays were victims of a 2-1 loss last night to Baltimore as Marcus Stroman only went a 5 and 2 thirds innings pitch, giving up 9 hits, 2 runs, and only recording 5 strikeouts. Veteran pitcher and newest Blue Jay, Matt Shoemaker, takes the bump tonight against Baltimore's Nate Carnes. Shoemaker was absolutely outstanding in the Blue Jays' debut last week against the Tigers, where he went seven full innings without giving up a run. Shoemaker will look to continue to throw that heat tonight. After the devastating news Sunday that the Canadians Women Hockey League will fold effectively starting on May 1st, the National Women's Hockey League Commissioner Danny Ryland and NHL Deputy Commissioner Bill Daly announced yesterday the importance of women's hockey in Canada. Ryland told the Associated Press Tuesday that their league's board has an approved investment plan to establish teams in Canada's two biggest markets, Toronto and Montreal. The NWHL currently has just five teams solely based in the United States. The CWHL had six, where four were in Canada, one was in Boston, and believe it or not, one was in China. Ryland did not reveal how much money the NWHL will receive on top of the NHL's previous annual commitment of 50,000 US. But NHL Deputy Commissioner Bill Daly confirmed the league has increased that figure, but also did caution that it does not change the NHL's position about fully backing a women's pro sports league. All we can hope for is that one step backwards will result in two steps forward for women's professional hockey in Canada. That's all your sports news for today. For Skedline.com, I'm Giovanni Siciliano.